guys! Thought today I would do a video on my sensory box. Well, one of two. I do have two sensory boxes. I've got one that lives in my bedroom, not bedroom, one that lives in my living room, and one that lives in my backpack, which I'm not going to show you today because it'd be a faff to get it out and then have to put it back again. But what I'm going to do is show you the one that lives in my calm corner that I use when I have a meltdown when I get over anxious, when I get angry, or when I just generally need to relax and need things to just be left alone. It is currently empty because I've got all the other stuff that was in this box outside of the box right now because that's just easier to show you. But this is the size of it. This is what it looks like from the top view. There's not anything in it obviously because of the fact that it's all on the ground right now and there is also a box of sand underneath my sensory box that I use to calm myself down because I like the texture and the feel of sand so I'm just going to start from the top of the pile give you a bit of information if I can about why I've got it or what I've got and then I will go on and see if I can figure out where I got some of the stuff stuff from and I will write that down below. There may necessarily not be any links simply because some of them are for shops, some of them are from Amazon and some are handmade. So if I can find the links to the actual shop, I will. The link to the actual thing, I will. I'll, I'll put it down below. First things first, this. This is a muscle roller. It's intended for exercise like yoga and dancing. I'm a dancer myself so I use it anyway. I use it for that but I use it to roll out muscles that uh, need loosening because they're tight. I also use it just because I like the feel of it rolling up and down and I like the fact that the handles are squishy. So I often don't use it for its intended purpose but I use it because I like the squidginess of the handles and I like the fact that it rolls and I like the sound it makes I know that's weird but I like the sound it makes when it rolls I find that quite relaxing apologies I have an itch put it in so it doesn't run away I then have this. This is a unicorn. It is a soft toy, but it is a calming soft toy. And I love it. It is purple and pink, which are two of my favorite colors. I love it because it's soft, but at the same time, it is also very tactile and sensory seeking behaviors are quite helpful for this. I will spin its tail I will pet it, its horn, its wings and its feet all have, sorry unicorn, this sort of shiny material that's also soft which is quite nice because it's a different texture but also the same sort of texture. I like to flap its wings like that because they flap together and they make a really cool sound but I also like the fact that they're mannerable so I can roll them if I need to, I can squish them if I need to and the unicorn itself is quite squishable because it's a soft toy it's not like hard or anything and the tag, sorry unicorn, I tend to flip back and forth it just gives me a chance to keep my hands busy when they need to be rather than stressing out over it. I have this, which according to its label, which I am yet to take off because I see no point, it is a twirling pipe. I got it from, not Hobbycraft, Home Bargains. And I bought it simply because 
well, to do this with it really. And I like the sound it makes when I rub across it. And I can also do that without it being an issue, without it hitting anyone. And because it's plastic, if I drop it, I'm not going to hurt myself and nothing's going to get damaged. But I like the fact that I can turn it into different shapes as well. And it should interlink with itself, meaning that it should stay in one shape giving me the opportunity to do other things like when it's in a circle shape which it's currently not behaving itself but when it is in a circle shape I can spin it around my arms and I can do that and that and it just gives me the opportunity to work out my hands and my reflexes and my ability to know how I feel while also having a sensory input. Unfortunately it's a bit of a faff to put back together though and put it in my box. I have to be really careful because you never know whether it's going to spring itself back apart. Which is part of the reason it does go right at the bottom. I have these. Where's my other set? Third set. I've got three lots of bubbles. Don't touch the phone, Jake. One set's just dead though, which I might have to chuck that blue set because it's just it's dead. I'm chucking that blue set. It's not going to be any use really. It's just dead. But these bubbles, again, home bargains. I have them because I find them really helpful for when I need to calm down. And when I need to get my breath back or when I need to think things all the way through and I need to be able to do it in a reasonable amount of time, these blue, these bubbles give me the opportunity to practice my deep breathing and practice my breathing techniques, but in a fun way. And when I need to, I also incorporate them into things like square breathing and star breathing, which are just breathing techniques you learn. I used and I learned at yoga and I learned at OT to calm myself down. Plus sometimes I just use them to for fun because I play with Jake with them he likes to try and catch them I have this thing which realistically is like a heat pad or a heat cushion that's what it's actually designed for you chuck it in the microwave for two minutes and it heats up I use it for that traditional purpose as well but I mainly use it to help myself calm down along with obvious other things hey Fleef but I like the sound it makes when it's empty well not empty I like the sound it makes when it's not hot that's what I'm trying to say because it sounds like rain I don't like the real sound of rain like the stuff that's outside but I do quite like I do quite like that sound I just always have done it's not really something that's going to go away it's not really something that's going to stop and get unannoying um but i do also use it for its intended purpose depending on how i'm feeling that day like if my anxiety is high but i'm also cold i'll use it for the intended purpose but if it's just anxiety I'm dealing with or a meltdown I'm dealing with, I'll just use it for the sound it makes. 
Other times, if I know that I'm tired after a meltdown or an anxiety attack, I will go and heat this up in the microwave and I will use it for both intended purposes really carefully because it will be hot. But I will use it for that occasionally. I don't have it out when Jake's around though because if he sees it and he knows that I'm not using it, he will try and pull it away and eat it. So quite often it just stays in my box until I need it. I have itch again, sorry. This, which is literally just a scented body spray from Boots I got ages ago. It was cheap, but I like the scent. So I got it for the scent. I don't use it as body spray. I use it because the scent helps me to feel calm and safe again. I use it because sometimes my senses get overly, overly worked. And I like to have a scent that brings me back down to earth. And this does it. Plus, sometimes it's just nice to have your house smelling nice. I mean, you don't really want a house that stinks, do you? So having that, at least in my house, in my sensory box, gives me the opportunity to be able to calm down and also smell my house smell nice, which is, again, something I really like about it. I have, let me think, what else have I got? I know everything's on the floor, but I'm just trying to figure out the best order to show things. I have these little bottles, which are aromatherapy stuff. There is one missing. I can't remember which one it is and I just dropped them all over my keyboard. Oops. Um, I don't use them all. There are some I can't use because of what they are. But that's because I'm allergic to the ingredients in some of them. But I do use them. I, I use at least four out of the six. I have used them for a very variety of different things though when it comes to meltdowns. I use them in my dehumidifier at night to relax myself and calm myself down. I use them to get rid of the pain that I'm having. Well it doesn't completely get rid of it, it's a bit like a placebo. So I have that as well as the painkillers I take which help with the pain which then also help with the meltdown because sometimes I have a meltdown because I'm in pain and I use them for sensory needs so I like to use them to smell things and to get things calming and I can smell the stuff that I need to smell to calm myself down I have this stuff which was actually right in front of me why I didn't just show it first I don't know but it's mix up putty. I'm not going to take it out the box because it's a right faff to put back in. But what it does is it is literally just unscrew the lid. It looks like that. It's very squishable. Very much something that's for tactile people like myself. It's a bit wet and gross though. Like you really want to wash your hands after using it. Um, and what it came in was it came in just as that pink stuff and then in the top of the lid there was the the stars and the sequins and everything else which you can just about see there and you mix them together and it makes a really shiny pattern I quite enjoyed just doing that anyway on its own it was a really sensory friendly thing for me um, but then because oh there we go probably not the smartest idea to get it out but hey We'll see. But because of the fact that it is very wet and slippery, it's not really the best sensory item, especially if you want clean hands and you don't like sequins. I love sequins, but they go everywhere. And that in itself is its own sensory issue. Um, I use it basically on hot days I think that's about it I don't use it on cold days because it just makes my hand more cold but I use it on hot days when I get overwhelmed because I can then do that without it without getting overheated 
because of cold gel stuff that it is the putty uh, helps me to cool my hands which in turn then gives me the ability to to move my hands and calm myself down because I put my a lot of the time when I have a meltdown my hands are where I go to for tactileness so I'll put them on my face or I'll put them there or I'll flap and then being cold when it's a hot day thanks to the potty putty is quite helpful because I don't want to get overly warm because if I get overly warm then I won't manage the world I have also got these which are the same thing they're literally the same thing it's just that one has a one has a cover on the other doesn't it's foam again same thing as many other things, keeps my hands busy. I don't like the smell though, it does not smell very nice. I had to put lavender oil or tea tree in these to get the foam to smell nice. But I like the fact that it's squidgeable. I like the fact that I can mold it into different shapes. I've had a support worker make one into a cat before. You can pull it apart and put it back together can roll it in your hands you can put it on your floor and roll it although I won't recommend that because it's a nightmare to get back up again um, I use it to just literally even though it stays in the box it gives me the gives me something I can press into rather than hurting myself because this is quite you have to express a lot of force to get it in and out you also have to express a lot of thought uh, a lot of force to to um, make the holes and make the things especially when it's still inside the box which in itself is, is a good sensory workout for me because I do often get rather stressed and I do want to use my own hands to self-harm but instead, now, I just use the malleable foam and all my sensory toys, which does help because it keeps my hands busy, which is what I need a lot of the time when I'm trying to de-escalate a meltdown or an anxiety attack. 